Happy, happy Friday! Howdy, howdy, wait, howdy, howdy, and how do you do? My goodness, is my tongue not cooperating with me today? But that's okay. That is okay because it's fun day Friday, and we have a kind of interesting challenge here in our Discord here. Link in the description below, and I do want to take the time to thank you all all thank you every single person that's coming in giving challenges and i highly suggest you guys do these challenges along with us because some, all these are just so much fun and some of them are so very challenging and i want to hear how you do uh, your thought processes on them how your run, runs turn out please let me know in the comments below and uh see if you do better than me i'll be uh I'd like to hear the stories on the ones that do better than me and I would love to hear the stories even more of the ones that don't do as good as me because that would just boost my uh, ego and confidence just a tiny bit more and I would appreciate that because a lot of you guys are really good at this game and can see a lot of the things that I cannot. So our, <laughs> our uh, challenge today is by the big fat gorilla. Uh, it's called over leveled. Starting relics, Haglin satchel, perfected forger, and Peglin tuition is optional. Uh, starting orbs, none. Crucible level ten rules. So there's an easy mode, and it looks like there's a hard mode. Rules easy mode. You can pick up any orbs. But you cannot use them, so I have to discard them unless they are level 3. Hard. You may not pick up any orbs unless they are slash will be level 3. Notes. Each run, the stone you get from Crucible will always be level 2. So discard it each time and upgrade it ASAP. Sir, yes sir, we can do that. Fat gorilla, the big fat gorilla, we can do that for sure. Uh, if you want, I think I'll do Peglin Intuition as well. Terrible, and I knew Terrible. Terrible is one of those people that can really uh, get these harder challenges and then make them seem a lot easier than they really are. But we'll find out, we'll dive in and see how we fare. How we fare in this world of ours. Crucible 10, Fun Day Friday. I already have it set up, so we have our three relics here. We'll apply them, and we will go on our merry way. Was there any... I don't think there's any rules to picking up relics, was there? Eglin Satchel starting rules, easy pick up orbs, discard unless... So there isn't anything in regards to relic choices, so we can pick up relics, which is nice, and I think I'll just pick up a... I do fancy refill buster. I do fancy refill buster. What can I say? One of my favorite favorite relics in the first half until you get a uh, gift that keeps on giving, which is not great. These are awful orbs. Awful orbs. My lord. I mean, this orb's not bad. I suppose, but this is bad because this will be our only orb, essentially. We don't even have enough money to upgrade our... Okay, interesting, interesting here. So we can only throw <laughs> essentially one of our orbs and that's you and we can only throw you once. Fun fact, and now you can get thrown however many times we want, but the problem is every time we throw you, you delete eggs. Well, this became a little bit more challenging than medium. I kind of had an image in my head on how this will go, and truly in my image, I didn't really picture this orb. What's the nimble? It's small. Add spin S1 every three times. A crit is triggered while the orb is in fight. That's not great. We're going to upgrade you so that you're level three and we can actually throw you. 
Because that is something we desperately need. Not everything spawned out, so we are going to throw you. Hey, at least we have some form of healing. So we do have a form of healing and we have a form of pierce. <laughs> to say the least, we have the bare minimum of what we need, right? Well, that's sad. Not even with this overpowered orb right here. Can we take out these bats? I mean, the spiders first throw. Oh, you would be so good. But I kind of want to... Well, we can't even... kind of want to try hard mode. Uh, but you would be so good, Highway Orbery. You would be so good. But we're going to do hard mode for as long as we can. We're going to try it. Attempt it at the very least. We want anything here? We don't have money for the shop, so I guess the shop's kind of pointless. What are your thoughts? Well, everything spawned in, so we can throw you happily ever after the end. You didn't even take everything out? Do, do, do. I think... We should be fine. Out of you are level three. I mean level two. We do want to fight you though. In hopes that you give us a level two. Well, elite fights usually do something around those terms. You would have been a whole lot cooler if you went into the center there. Oh yeah, watch this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Watch. Do it again. Do it again. Pop off. Oh. Okay, do it one more time. Why are you loving that right side, sir? I'm crazy for doing what I did there, but it, it worked out. Still in the level twos. Ooh, popping corn. Another level of healing. But... I think I want the Recombobulator. Believe it or not, I think the Recombobulator is going to be our saving grace in the terms of... Oh no, I needed to go right. You're not going to be helpful because... What was that sound? I don't know what that is. Best thing to do whenever you hear a sound you don't understand, like you don't know what it is, is just ignore it. <laughs> Just ignore the sound. It'll go away. And if it doesn't, then RIP GG. Life was good. Life was good while it lasted. We took the time. We started channel. Met a lot of good people. Did a lot of good challenges. This is the way it goes. This is the way it goes. Um, We'll just continue on. Level twos. Elite fights, I hope. The math works out to where they give you more level twos. Now, are you smart to throw here? I don't know if you are smart. I don't know why I hit the refresh. Well, technically the refillibuster sucks for us. The refillibuster definitely was not the decision here. Not what we should have went with. Palm's doing blind. I think grinding Monstera for max HP to go up is great for us. We need to not throw you because we have to let make sure everything spawns in before we throw something like you. Not everything spawned in yet. Nice bomb hit. Bombs are a little bit weaker here, but that's fine. Perfect. Oh, well, shoot. Look at that bad boy. You know what that bad boy is? That's a level three. That is a level three in our pocket. 15%? 15 HP? Sounds like a good deal to me. So 
now we have three orbs that we can, well, four orbs technically, but three orbs on a consistent basis to throw. Starting with you is fine. You'll make a lot of, you'll make two healing pegs that we can rely on solely off of. Oh, well, that's new. They changed the animation for it. That's pretty cool. I like that animation. I like that animation a lot. Now, can you do 500 damage here? No, you could not. No, you could not. <laughs> I do like that, anima that animation a lot. I think it's a lot more entertaining to watch. It's unique. It's new. Unique New York. Perfect. And that's GG there. Magnifies all. That of you can get upgraded. Molten Mantle, I suppose, isn't bad. Sealed Conviction might be better. Plus two, plus two. Here, 913. I'm going Sealed Conviction. The reason why I don't like mental, Molten Mantle is because it's kind of like an easy mode. You click it and it's almost... It's hard to lose after you click it, you know? So I think I'd rather not click it. Especially whenever it's a Fun Day Friday. I don't want to cheese a Fun Day Friday unless it's like a very hard Fun Day Friday. Then, I mean, I might fancy a cheese time to time, but that's beside the point. Oh, uh, you grants one music when fired, grants four bulwark when fired. Not bad. That makes it a level three. We have bulwark now. We have more options of orbs to throw. I think we might be shaping up to be pretty good. Now, am I picking up too many orbs? The question. Maybe. Maybe I ditch the stone? Yeah, I'm not grabbing that crit for a specific reason. I'm not grabbing the crit. That is because we'll be having a lot of uh, Mew Circle with that orb right there. So I don't want to necessarily have a lot of crits to where we miss the Mew Circles. Miss out on the Mew Circle. We don't need to be worrying about that. See, I can use my brain every once in a while. Popping, I think pumpkin pie is going to be a little bit better for us. A little bit more. And then of course, having more bombs on the pegboard is going to be much better. Did you make any? You made one right there. Oh, I can't skip. I forgot I can't skip. Hit the crit at least. Hit the crit at least. I really forgot I can't skip. Hey, that worked. We have six going on here. Oh, that's not great. Why am I targeting the crits? No, we lost. We lost. We'll try it again. 
That was very unlucky. Unfortunate, unfortunate for sure that that was the orb that we got. I'll be curious to see what orbs you guys got because my goodness is that orb not probably the greatest of orbs to have to start with. I think I'm just going to go you instead, not refill a buster this time. Just in case we get that same orb again. Omega orb and a swole orb, I suppose. They counteract each other. That's not bad, right? not terrible because it's got overflow so we have some kind of pierce it does pretty good decent damage base damage I'd even look at the map we did need to ensure that we went left I don't want to start with you though and think now we throw you maybe I should have Upgraded you through that. Oh, well, I couldn't afford to upgrade the stone. So now we just throw you and hope for the best. Well, that's going to eat through everything. Do we upgrade the stone? Yes, we do. Or the pebble. The pebble. We upgrade the pebble. I'm never going to get used to the same pebble over stone. And it kind of, our Discord's name is Cam Stone Storage because whenever we hit 100 subscribers way back when, uh, I did a fun day, like a challenge where it was 100 stones, a stone for every uh, subscriber. It was actually really fun, but then we got a little too big for our britches to do those kind of challenges anymore. So, but. I like those milestones. Good days, you know? Good days to that grind. The grind still goes on, still continues on. Having fun every single day that we post and I get to meet new people. Almost every video, there seems to be someone new saying hi. I do appreciate every time I see someone new saying hi and I appreciate a whole lot familiar faces, especially saying hi. Familiar faces make my heart happy. Well, that was not nos bueno. Oh, come on. Hit the refresh. Hit the refresh. Sorry, but you're going to have to hit the refresh there. I mean, there's nothing I can do. Don't foresee you... Best we could have done there. Ooh, hoo -hoo. why, why this decision here? It's our boss. Because max HP is fantastic. Base damage increase all around the board, fantastic. But recombobulator, we don't really have a pierce. No guarantee we'll find a pierce anytime, anytime soon. So might as well do that. And then you have overflow, so I'm going to start with you. Hitting some bombs is good. 400 damage. Boom. Easy as that. And that if you are a level of which I would prefer, we'll take the heals and move on. Hopefully we can get some gold there. Beautiful. 20 gold going into you. We're going to continue going leftward bound. Yeah, Soul Torb is weak. So we'll go ahead. Weaken up this right side a little bit. Nice. It's a shame that we've got... to target you though with the off chance that we do enough damage take everything oh survive 
You two are still alive? Oh my lord, we are in trouble. All that money that we spent to keep ourselves alive and gain some HP, all down the drain, all gone, washed away. Like our dreams, our hopes and dreams. Oki, are you comfortable? Whenever shields are broke, it's a plus one, plus zero for every crit on the board. It's fine by me. It's just a net positive. That was an awful throw. I'm glad you went that direction, I suppose, versus going straight down where you could do a lot of more damage. Oh, I don't want to really throw you either. I want to make sure they get boosted before we throw you, but we'll throw you now solely because everything's kind of spawned out just in case you pierced your way through pierced your way through the crowd and away we go easy as that easy as pie level two right here when you draw deal self damage equal to the number of pegs pop of popped pegs reduced by 20. wait when drawn deal self self damage equal to the number of pegs popped or popped pegs reduced by 25%. When drawn, refresh the board. That's disgusting. Imagine if you had 50 pegs, I mean, 100 pegs popped. You just had 100 pegs popped. You do 75 self damage. Just drawing that. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Gross. Disgusting. Get that out of here. Get that filth away from us. I'm gonna heal and take on the lead. Do you guys know where that beat's from? Yeah, I'm sure I didn't do it justice, but it's the Pokemon old Pokemon game song. Did you guys ever play Pokemon growing up? Or any time in your life? You don't have to play it when you're growing up. You can play it now if you ever so desire. It is a very great game, very fun game. I have fond memories of many, many hours played in that game with my old Game Boy SP, my, well, Game Boy Advance, and then I got a Game Boy SP, and then I got the Game Boy DS? I think that's what I got. Those were all my Game Boys. Never had the PlayStations, like the PSPs and stuff like that. We couldn't afford it. Those things were very expensive. Well out of my family's price range, for sure. Which, at a certain age, we kind of paid for our own games. My parents... My parents wouldn't uh, buy any games for us. But I do remember back in Blockbuster days. Uh, back in the Blockbuster days, we would always go to that game section in search of a game to rent and we'd beg our parents my brother and I would beg our mom and dad uh, to let us rent a game and the only time they would let us rent a game is if they rented a movie that we couldn't watch as a family so usually like I think they even rented The Sopranos once But I think they actually watched The Sopranos on TV. I just remember we weren't allowed to watch Sopranos whenever they were watching Sopranos. And they watched Sopranos a lot. And I think they binged it. Which, if you know anything about my family, which I don't ex expect you guys to know much about my family. But we're a family that if we start something... We're going to continue until that something is completely done. <laughs> so if we start a show, 
we're going to sit there and watch that show until we're done watching that show. This is awful. This refresh is in a terrible spot. We're going to lose thanks to a refresh. Oh no. We lost because of that refresh. I just want you to know. Gross. We can try one last time. <laughs> this is not a hard challenge. Why am I struggling with it? It is far from a hard challenge. By no means should I be struggling this much with it. But to get to Best Buy, there was a Best Buy pretty close to our house whenever we were growing up and you would turn left to go home and the Best Buy is like at this intersection, you would turn left to go home or turn right into the Best Buy parking lot. And so my brother and I, every time we're like taking that exit or that route, route uh, we would always make the sound of the blinker. Like that sound, we would always make it trying to entice our parents to turn uh, into the <laughs> into the uh, Best Buy parking lot. And so, th of course, they would turn on their blinker and they would be like really anticipating which way are we going? Which way are we going? Uh, we're going to let the pebble sink because it's a level two and we can't use it. This is a whole lot better of one. Matryorshka with a blind uh, darkness -y turbo. I will take that every day of the week. My brother is texting me if you can hear my phone. Uh, yeah, he's wanting to play some Elder Scrolls Online, but I can't play right now. I'm doing a challenge. Uh, I am working on a challenge that is supposed to be easy. Well, medium difficulty, I suppose. Which, I think we kicked on easy mode as soon as we got Mantri Orbshka, not gonna lie. I haven't seen a Mantri Orbshka in a while, but we're not gonna hurt for money. And we're not really gonna hurt for much. The only thing we will hurt for, I do believe, is probably gonna be Pierce. If we don't figure something out. I'll take another refresh, though. Or the Mary Yarn refreshes. We already got rid of our pebble. We have a small deck. Prime Rod of Frost would probably be a little bit more ideal for us right now. And because if we can get this Darkness Eter Ball to really be popping off on the, like hitting multiple targets at once, but this blind ability, I think we might be uh, set in stone. Oh, all that damage wasted. Wasted away again in Margaritaville. Looking for our lost shaker of salt. I told you the story about how uh, Jimmy Buffett's the only guy, only uh, concert I've ever been to, and I saw his bare feet right in my face. I was front row, a free front row uh, pass couple old people older people uh probably his target market they had front row tickets that they bought and their wives didn't want to go so he, they're looking for someone to give the tickets to and i just so happened to be the lucky guy that was standing right there and they gave it to me which i mean i was beyond grateful this was at like a company event for a company that I used to work for. And these guys were just friendly. They knew I was new just because of my name tag. I had a different name tag, like a new person name tag is the best way to describe it. And so they were looking out for me. I was fresh out of college. Just trying to get my feet, get under my own two feet. And I gotta see Jimmy Buffett's old feet, old millionaire feet, like, hundred millionaire I think he's like worth a lot of money like over 
a hundred million, I think, or something like that. Outrageous because he's got that Margaritaville. I have the turtle Emma Dictionary. I think we're gonna go Emma Dictionary. I don't know why we only have two orbs, but Emma Dictionary seems like seems like a little bit more of a frisky decision. I'm here for a little bit of frisk in this run. A little bit of frisk to go around. I just don't think you're gonna be good here, but you hit the refresh and that's all that matters. Yeah, and then Darkness Eternal is definitely our damage dealer. Our single target damage dealer. Kind of interesting that we're not getting... Ooh, 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 over hammer is a form of pierce. No, oh, we wanted to go right. So we can go to that shop and spend our Mune, but I suppose beggars cannot be choosers. Uh, give me. I just want to go quick and win because we want to win. Dang it. We covered up all the bombs. We had the wrong person targeted. There we go. That works. We can get you Spinfection. I just don't want. At Spinfection, you know, you're just not that good of a orb, you know what I mean? You're just not, you don't have that oomph to you. I am going to duplicate a Matriorpska, though. I will duplicate our Matriorpska. Matriorpska's got that oomph. That wow factor. The factor that just makes you go, okay, I see what you're working with here. Maybe we should have done the... Darkness he turball. Because then we could have just applied a ton of blind to everything, but because honestly, you're not doing that much damage here. Not impressed with your damage output. Metri Orpska. Darkness he turball is doing more efficient work whenever it's hitting, I mean applying that blind status effect. Imagine we lose here. The perfect build. Be fresh potion with a Matriorpska. Okay. Okay, now. We have overhammer, so we should be fine. Yes, look at that. Look at that magnificent. Oh, the shield really nerfed our damage output it should have taken out everything but we're doing hard mode though keep that in mind we are doing the hard mode where we're only picking up level twos or greater so that we always have a level three in our deck we got rid of our peg our pebble almost instantaneously so that should be something to brag about right not even enough to get rid of the shield Not even enough to get rid of the shield. Okay, this is getting gross. I kind of forgot about shields a little bit. So that's on me. I should have known better. Perfect. Perfecto. Patronum. Have you heard about that new Harry Potter that's coming out? Uh, the, um... Do we want this, though? Do we want the special relic? I say we take it. I say we take it. The new Harry Potter that's coming out on HBO. It's a TV show series. I'm kind of excited for it. The reason I'm excited for it is because, I mean, I never read the books really, so maybe I don't have the means to be excited for it. But what excites me about it is the fact that the odds of hitting a crit is pretty high. I'm not going to waste the money on that. Is that it's supposed to be a little bit more in depth and not like leave out a bunch of parts that the movies left out. So I'm just kind of curious on what parts the movies left out. And my grandpa loved watching Harry Potter. He loved the Harry Potter series. 
so I'm kind of excited for it just I don't know to it's kind of like that little connection thing with him uh, he's no longer with us but I think watching it's just gonna be just a great experience because every time I hope they still use the same theme because the theme of it every time I hear it I just I can picture sitting in their living room watching the movies because every single time one of the new movies came out as soon as the moment it went out on dvd it was in their house they had it every single time we'd all just sit there and watch it of course at that whenever all the movies were coming out i was a little younger i wasn't really that interested at the time in harry potter whatsoever and so it was like one of those things that I took for granted at the time. And so that's one thing that I'm kind of holding on to is like this time around, I'm just going to experience it for what it is. And then like the memories there, not necessarily the story. Granted, I'm sure it's going to be great. Go and enjoy it. I know the story. I've watched all those movies, uh, but that's what I'm excited about for it. I'm not necessarily that excited about the new stories and everything like that. Like I said previously, I know. But the reason what I'm excited for is to recall those memories. A little cheat code, I would say. It's a little cheat code to remember loved ones whenever you do something like that. It's kind of like whenever I'm playing video games, I'll I'll have like those random like core memories that pop up out of nowhere where you don't really know where it came from or anything, but it's amazing that it came and that's why I like playing games. That's why I'm playing ESO. I'm playing Elder Scrolls Online with my brother a lot recently and I'm having so much fun just sitting there. Him and I don't even talk that much while we're playing just playing with us both in the same discord is enough for me to be just happy and content i have no idea why but i just i have so much fun and i look forward to it every uh chance that i get i don't know if you guys experience something similar to that if you're still here please let me know that uh if you have any experiences like that because i i just i don't know it's heartwarming is one way to say it and I don't not the most like not the most emotional person by any means do we want you no our match or guys would be doing nothing we want you don't want an easy mode for our easy mode our match or guys are easy we're trying to do hard mode if we got molten mantle we would be even easier so, I don't think we're going to worry about that. Because that first guy would have been gone and the second guy would have been gone too by then. And look at this. We're going to be back up to 100-100 with the special relic. It's going to be perfect. Everything's working out. Ooh, we self-damaged there, but we lost, like, no damage, and we took almost all of theirs. We could get you with Bulwark, but, eh, we don't need Bulwark. You're a level 2, but not necessarily a level 2 we care about. Select few level 2s that we care about. The only problem is we had that Darkness Eterball. We're not even using the Darkness Eterball anymore. <laughs> We can go you, the next orb fired gets plus X plus Y, where X and Y are, are this orb's regular and crit damage. Or we can get Kimmy Ball Hazard. You just don't do any damage, you know? You'd make our Matri Orb is stronger, I suppose, but eh. Nee. None of those are interesting. Give me something interesting here. Ew, another Darkness E Turbo. Moment we go to a shop, I'm selling the Darkness E Turbo. 
I know we have ammo dictionary, so we, it's not that big of a deal, but I don't want it. Oh, look at that. Free relic. Target also will hit nearby. We don't have targeting orbs, so the safety net is the way to my heart. Well, our only shot at a shop is this one. A strong monster is hiding behind. This is probably the one map that is the counter for this Matry Orbshka build that we have going on here. Because it is not designed well for Matry Orbshkas because they're all gonna go in like the same pathing. But look how much blind we're gonna be doing. Oh, you didn't have to hit the bombs though. You didn't have to hit the bombs though. 27 blind. We only have one refresh, which is interesting. I don't want to wait for that refresh. Ha! <laughs> 40% chance to miss or 73% chance to miss and you miss no big deal 95 out of 95 max HP bold orb you're okay but not necessarily what we want a duplication station I think I want a duplication station if uh, you come asking me on what I want that's what I want right there and I want to remove a darkness eater ball we don't need two Mm, short fuse. Do we need it? Every game, you circle gain one additional one. We don't really have a way to gain you circle here, aside from you. Self damage. We don't do really with orbs from orbs. Self damage. So maybe we just do you. Look at sands useless. Not an impressive shop by any means, by any stretch of the imagination. We do want to go right though. Let's forcefully go right. Make it forceful. Duplication potion. I think we do Bramble with blind because we're always applying blind. So now we're always applying Bramble and we can soft lock everything. So if this is the upside down, no. Remove an orb. Uh, oh, sorry, darkness you turbo, ball, but Sayonara. Darkness you turbo, ball, you were very much appreciated, but your time in the limelight has gone. Because now we have this monstrosity going on. Look, it's all soft lock right here. What just happened? What was that sound? Oh, it was the multi-ball every four. So there's a little bit and another Mad 3 Orbs going on good there. Max increase. While applying negative status effects to an enemy, increase the amount applied by one. Take it. The hero's backpack probably would have been good too, but... That works. I mean, we have unlimited healing. We have unlimited everything. Unlimited damage, unlimited healing, unlimited max HP. We're at 107. It's almost like we never even grabbed the uh, special relic. You sure? You sir did not need to shoot us. Oh, it's so good. We don't want the Ek Orb. I just can't get that Ek Orb to ever work properly. Like, good. Can I ever get it to work great? Oh, wow. That did a lot more than I thought it would. Because now look at this. We only have one square. I didn't know we were already on the boss fight either, so there's that aspect of it. And honestly, you're not 
impressing me here, Matryorpshka. I mean, I don't think there's a way to die unless you guys one-shot me. Get high enough to one-shot me. Oh, yes. Look at that. Boom. Still not enough to take you out? Crits are pointless. Refreshes are the only thing that's beneficial. We're actually losing damage if we hit crits. Fun fact. Because we don't have uh, strange brews, so crits don't even apply to our damage hitting the crit itself. So it's just dead or... But, hey, third time's the charm. We did it. Thank you so much for tuning in this Friday. Thank you so much. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And I look forward to talking with you all later. Bye-bye.